Okay, so we're two weeks before Shavuos today, so the Shear will be in connection to Shavuos. So what can we talk about loss and love when we're going to get to Shavuos? Huh? What Shaila is there loss and love for Shavuos? So the Shaila is as follows. There's a, there's a, a, a Rama, not a Rama, a Mogan Avram, in the beginning of Simon Tov Tzadik Dalit, where the Mogan Avram brings a question that many of us speak about, that the Gemara says that Moshe Rabbeinu was Moshef one day, Midaitoi, before Matan Teira. Matan was delayed for a day, Moshe Rabbeinu added a day. So, which means that instead of the Teira being given on the 50th day from after Sfirat Zaymer, it was actually given on the 51st day. And you see it also in the Cheshben, from when Yidin went out of Mitzrayim, the day the Yidin left Mitzrayim was on a Thursday. Kulama, Thursday they left Mitzrayim. It's the day that the Torah was given, the Gemara says, Lekulama b'Shabbos nit na So that's on the 51st day from when they left Mitzrayim, not the 50th day. It would have been on Friday otherwise. It was on the 51st day. If that's the case, so the Shaila is, today we celebrate Shavuos on the 50th day of Sefer Seymour. On Vav 7, which is the 50th day. And also, Binigay to the date on the calendar when the Torah was given, according to this opinion, which is Rabbi Yaisi in the Gemara and Shabbos, the Torah was given on Zion Sivan, not on Vav Sivan. The Poyal, we celebrate Shavuos, the Yom Tev Rishon of Shavuos, the Yom Tev Deiraisa, the first day of Shavuos, is on Vav Sivan. So, how, the Mogan Avram asks, how could you say, is Man Mat Torah Seino on the first day of Shavuos? If it's not the day that the table, she gave the table b'chol. This is a famous shaila which a lot of Achrenim speak about. There's a true from the Divri Nechemia about this. There's a big arichas about this Indian. But there's one interesting word that the Mogan Avram there quotes, B'Shem, the Rama Mipano. Mipano. Rama, Rama Mipano was a Mekobo baker. And he says a very interesting thing. That the fact that Bismana Golos we celebrate Yom Tov Sheni Shal Golos is because that's not the day that the Torah was given. The Torah was given on Zion Sivan, so the Eibush is being Meramas to Yidden, but you're going to celebrate Zion Sivan also. Even if Lachatchila, when Yidden were in Eretz Yisrael, they didn't celebrate Zion Sivan, only the, for the first day of Yom Tov, which is Vav Sivan, but the, what the Eibush gave the Torah the next day because eventually in the future, Yidin will celebrate the next day. Yantav Sheni Shogalos. Then he adds, another, that's one word he says. Then he adds another word. We see that the fact that they should delay the Matan Torah for one day was Moshe Rabbeinu's decision. He didn't ask the Ebishter. Well, he felt that Yidin weren't ready, whatever it is. Moshe Rabbeinu was Moshe Yoy Mechad Midaitai. So the point is that the idea of Yantav Sheni Shogalos. Is, is like the Indian of Hosef and Moshe Yom Echad Medaitai. Moshe Rabbeinu was Moshe for one day, even though the Torah was supposed to be given on the 50th day of Svira. The same thing also was Managolos, the Chachamim, were Moshe for a day for, uh, for Yom Tov. The Amos is that this Indian, that is a Yom Tov Shainish al is not only with Managolos, it's also with Moshe B'Samikdash Kayim. It means... But in Chutzlar, not in Golis. Places that were far from Eretz Yisrael, and they didn't know what the Kvis of the, of the Arish Chedish was, and the Edim the, that came in Eretz Yisrael. They couldn't get the message out too far, so therefore they had to make a Yont of Shani Shal Golis. But it's not really necessarily in Zmana Golis. It, it refers to those places that are far from Eretz Yisrael. Atkan, more or less, is what the, the Ramah Mipana says, which is a very interesting word, that the Emes, in a way, when the whole celebration of Shavuos, Zman Matan Teresenu, the second day of Shavuos, is in a way Choshever than the first day of Shavuos. That's actually the day that David Shigei the Teira. So there's a Chsam Sefer, the Chsam Sefer Masech Tebeya, says, on the first day, that's, that's, that's still a good question. That's not fair for the coin to this. The Mogan Avram talks about it, and the others talk about it. That's still not fair for the coin to this. Right, and Hanami. In the Teireh Bepashtus Shvuz, it doesn't say any remez that Shvuz is connected to the Zman of Teireh Seinu. It just says, Svat Ramachas Shabbos, and then you bring an Hanami. But in the Nusachat Filler, the question is the Nusachat Filler that Anche Knesset Sagdelo were Mesakin. 
it, they were misakin to say is Mamat and Taita the first day as well? That's the question. The question is not what it says in the Pasuk. So the Chsam Seifer says that this Indian of Yom Tev Sheni Shal Goliath is not an Indian which is only for uh, because in Zman Agolos when they don't know how to be, when they don't know this man of Rishchidosh or far from Eretz Yisrael, the Chassam Seifer says that the same thing will also be La'asad Lovei. This man Agolos now, we're not Mechadosh to Chidosh, we're not Mechadosh to Chidosh based on Eden. Today it's all done with uh, the Cheshbin that there is when the Melod is and there's the months that are Chaseidim, the months that are Malayim, it's not done with uh, Edim. When Mashiach is going to come, so then we're going to be Kevei again, the Chaydish with Edim. So the Chassam Seifa says that then there'll also be Yom Tevshen Shal Galus. Those places that won't be close enough to know what um, the day of Yom Tev is, there'll also be Yom Tevshen Shal Galus. Then the Chassam Seifa says another Chaydish, Bechlal, we know that Lost at Lovai. One second, we'll get to these days. Wait, okay, we're getting to that. But before, first, let me finish what the Seifer says. He says an interesting thing that it says in, in, in Parshas Shoftim, that Lost Lavoi, Babish is going to broaden your borders to include the other three lands of Kenny, Knizi, and Kadmoni, which are going to be further out. And he says that that includes also certain islands in the Mediterranean that are also going to be considered to be part of Eretz Yisrael. Well, he says those places are going to be part of Eretz Yisrael, but they're not cl- close enough to find out what the Kviyas of the Chaydish is, and they're going to have to celebrate Yom Tiv Sheni, not even though they're Eretz Yisrael, even though they're not a Chutzlar as So he says, you see, the Indian of Yom Tiv Sheni is not Shaykh Dafka to Chutzlar It's not only Bismana Golis, it's even going to be Asad Lavoy. And even when you get to places that La'asad Lavoi will be considered to be Eretz Yisrael, but are going to be further out, and they can't find out when Rishchidosh is. The idea of Yom Tev Sheni is not necessarily a takana for Chutz Laaretz per se. It's for places that are too far for the Edom to reach there on time, to say when the Yom Tev is. The Chassam Seifer says that... Uh, Rosh Hashanah was even in Eretz Yisrael itself, right? Because even Ma, got Mamish, right? That the idea is if there's a suffix, wherever the suffix applies. The Chassam Sofer brings this Ramami Pano as well, and he says that this is the, the way the way the Chassam Sofer puts it that it doesn't make sense that the Eibushter is giving Teira on Zion Sivin, and the Ramami Pano says it's all sort of so to speak pre-planned that the Yidin Bizman Golos or Chutzlaretz are going to be celebrating the second day of Yontif. That's what the Abishter is doing by giving Matan on that day and the Yidin are going to celebrate a Dafka and Chutzlaretz. So the Chsam Seifer says no it's much more than that because the Abishter is also hinting to what's going to be when Mashiach comes. That even by the Gula Sida, even in places which are in Eretz Yisrael they will also celebrate a second day of Yontif. It's not only Bismana Golis, it's going also on the Zmana Geula as well. Okay, that's, that's the Chassam Seifer in his times. How many years ago did the Chassam Seifer live? Let's say, about 250 years ago. But now the question is, there's many Akhrenim that speak about this over the past 100 years, this Tshuva Svarim that speak about this question, that today, that the whole issue of getting the message out, that it's a new month, is not an issue, can, you can spread the message even already 100 years ago when, when the telegrams came out when was whatever it's even more more than 100 years ago when the first telegram was sent I'm not sure the exact date if anyone here knows what once if you're able to get the message out to the entire world so then the height of the whole entire thing doesn't apply anymore even before that they had to let the fire just okay but even that they didn't rely on it because the staken no, came and no, no, right no. so they didn't rely on it yeah uh-huh. So they can they can go back to that. Uh, okay. So many achrayim, there are many shuvas for that say that today that you can be media the entire world but regular commemorate when the kiddush achaydish is. So lost of love, there's a whole musig of of yom to shein ishal galis is not shayach bchalal. Right. So it says many achrayim. Less. Technically less, but I'm saying. <laughs> that's where it's holding now and then another the few years it's going to be uh, it's going to buzz in your head it's going to be a chip in your head that's going to let you know you won't even have to check it was 
1844. Okay, so it's 150 years ago. More, yeah. Yeah. Hakopanim, so yeah, the idea of spreading the word of Rishchidish, it doesn't matter how. I mean, you can spread it, if you can spread it through the Masi and Masua, it's with the fires, so for sure technology is good enough to spread the, to spread the word. But it's not, it's not such a Pashto thing if this opinion in Rishainim is accepted. I mean, the, in, in Achreinim, that say this, that uh, because you could spread the word today, uh, it's not so clear if this is Ongenova. There's, there's a few times that the Rebbe spoke about this Indian. There was once in a Fabrengen of some Chastayre Tavshim Memtes, and once in a Fabrengen of uh, Shabbos Bereshis Tavshim Nun Aleph. Some Chastayre Tavshim Memtes, the Rebbe said that it's possible that even the Osad Lavoi, it'll be Yon Tavshin Yishal Goliath. Even though the Osad Lavoi, it won't be necessary because uh, then everyone will know and it'll be clear and there won't be any issue of finding out when the Chaydish is. But Rafa Pikain, the Rebbe said that it's Mestaver, that because this is something that we, the Klal Yisrael was naik so many days, so to say that La Asad Lavi, this Indian will be bottled, the Rebbe says it's, uh, it's not Mestaver. There are certain milas that Yontav Shein Yishal Goliath has. Another day of Yontif, there's another day of Kedusha. a lot of different milas that the Yontif Shani has, that you're being Maila a day, which is Be'etzema Yem Choyl, and the Kedusha. The Rebbe said that it's not Mestavah. And the Rebbe gave an example from Shavuos itself. The whole concept that Shavuos is two days is, is something which is a Pella. Why should Shavuos be two days? Shavuos is not a Yontif that, that is dependent on any date. The whole idea of having a two-day yontav is because you don't know what the date of the yontav is. So yeah, therefore you have to have to, if you can't bring the message over what the date is, so you have to have two days. Shavuos though, in the Teda, it never says the date of the yontav. All it says is that Shavuos is the 50th day. But by the time 50 days comes around, everybody knows when Pesach, when the date of Pesach was. For sure, even then. So what's the, why is Shavuos two days? So the Gemara says... Not to, sep- not to distinguish between one Yontif and another Yontif. If you're going to make uh, uh, Pesach and Sukkot two days, Shoshana also, and, and Shavuos won't be two days, so then people are going to come to be Mizalzal in the other Yom Tev, which have two days. Because people are going to say, look, this Yontif doesn't have two days. It's a raya that the second day is not so important. It's only when there's a Suffolk. But Shavuos, where there's no Suffolk, you don't have two days. So therefore, Chachamim established it. All Yom Tev don't have two days. So you look at it, Pashtus, you think that the second day of Shavuos has much less of a reason and a necessity, much less of a necessity than the second day of the other Yom Tev. The, other, the second day of the other Yom Tev originally were instituted because it was a serious issue, Sveika Yaina. The second day of Shavuos is just as a second, like it's a secondary support, Shalalach like Bamaidis, but there really never was a doubt when it get to the Kvias of Shavuos. But the Rebbe in a few places in Lakota Sikhis and in other the Rebbe in Fabrengen mentions that there's an interesting Chsam Seifer that says, no, that it's the other way around. It's the other way around. Shvuas, the second day of Yontu Shvuas, has more of a Chumra than all the other days of the uh, second day Yontif. The, other, the second day Yontif from the other Yom Tevim, which were based on a Sveiki de Yaima. So Chacham Lachatchila instituted it because of a Suffolk. So on one hand, there was a serious reason why they instituted it. But it was based on a suffix. When Chachamim decided to institute the second day of Shavuos, there was no suffix that was the basis of this, of this second day. There was no suffix. They decided, Shalilachlik with Mayadis, was enough of a reason to make a second day. It was never based on a suffix. So even though the Chayda, the reason of Shalilachlik with Mayadis, is essentially much weaker of a reason, but it was never based on a doubt. When the Mela, the Chsam Sefer says, there's a big Mela in the institution of the second day Yom Tev Shavuos over the other Yom Tev. This is the Vart of the Chsam Sefer. The Rabbi uses this for a few things. You see sometimes that even though the, the reason for something is, the, the seems to be weak, but once Chacham decided to use that reason, so then it gets a certain strength. Once they instituted it, Shavuos is a very strong thing. The second day, even more than other Yom Tev. So the Rebbe used that sort of as an example for this idea of Yom Tev Sheni Shal Goliath. The, even the Yom Tev Sheni Shal Goliath originally was instituted because of a Suffolk. But once uh, uh, um, Klal Yisrael was, is Noyig, the second day of Yom Tev, so many days, it sort of becomes like established. It gets sort of a life of its own. 
It becomes an established thing that Yontiv has two days in Chutzlaret, and the Rebbe the, the Rebbe said it's Mustaver. It's a, there's a Svar Loima that's going to stay even lost with Lavi. More than that, the Rebbe didn't explain. I mean, because Sof Sof Lachayre, it's not the, the, the reason won't apply. But Kaneh the Rebbe is, is showing you from this example of Shvuas that even when you have something that's based on a weak reason, but it sort of takes on a life of its own. It's the same thing over here. It, it's once Chachamim inst- instituted it, it remains forever. It remains loyal and void. That's what the Rebbe said in the Fabrengi and of some Chastayda Tavshimem test. But on a later occasion, in Tavshinun Aleph, in Parshas Bereshis, the Rebbe said Fakert, that it was pretty, pretty clearly mashed from what the Rebbe was saying, that La'asad Lava, there will be no Yom Tavshin Shal Golas Bechlal. The Rebbe spoke then about Yisra Chag, whatever, but the Nekudah, the Rebbe then said that that La'asad Lava, when there will be Mekadash Lachedish Apiyar Iyya, and then everyone will know when the, what the Kiddush Lachedish is, there won't be any Yom Tavshin Shal Golas Bechlal. So one time the Rebbe said like this, and one time the Rebbe said like this. I'm not sure if it means that, the, I mean, if the Rebbe in, the, in a later date, in Tavshin and Aleph said that there that won't, that won't, won't be. Or the Rebbe was saying a svara, a svara like this, a svara like that, and we'll see when Mashiach comes. Okay, that's been to get to the nigla, the good part of this Indian. Then, al pichsidis, the concept of Yom Tavshin Yishol Goliath. So, in Lekut Teira, the Alter Rebbe explains... There's a lot of different things that Chassidus says when you get to Yont of Shani Shalgalias. But for Pashtus, the institution of Yont of Shani Shalgalias, just like Alpi Nigla, comes from a certain Chassarim. Because we don't know when the Kvias of the uh, Yont of is, so therefore you have to make a second day. The Alter Rebbe, Alpi Chassidus, says that Yont is a day when there's a new Gilead in the world. Eretz Yisrael is a holy land and a holy place which is able to receive and that, that, that tremendous gilu in one day. In, in the Chutz Laretz, which is not a keli for that revelation, in order to receive that revelation, has to be spread on, in, in, uh, over into two days. Because Chutz Laretz is not a keli for this new gilu of Yantuf. And the Altar Eretz Yisrael the Teres says that therefore the din is someone that's a ben Eretz Yisrael that goes to Chutz Laretz, even if it's Daitai Lachzai, he also should uh, keep two days in Chutz Laretz because B'Payel, he's in Chutz Laretz, and it doesn't matter that he's a ben Eretz Yisrael, but while he's in Chutz Laretz, the place does not allow for the Giloy of Yontif to be received in one day. It has to be over two days. That's the word that Alter Rebbe says in Lukot What about the other way? So big machleik is between Abani and Nash. Big machleik is lechayre. It should be the same thing, right? According to this, He's able to get the right. in one shot. And a chanami. That's not the main. And I'm not so sure. I don't know. I don't know what's. I don't even know what's mainstream about that. In one way or another, I just spoke to someone that was actually wasn't pace. I paid just not pace the chanari Yisrael. He told me asked the Lubavitcher Rav. He told me who I forgot who right now. Somebody that Rav told him you're coming with your family, with your with your whatever. Keep one day. If you're coming yourself and your family's in Chutz Laaretz, you're coming with your family, you should keep one day. He kept one day. And then he had an issue with Nuhid. No, he didn't have an issue. He, he heard the uh, Parshas uh, Achrei twice this year. Yeah, yeah. The first other one. Right, the if you skip time. a Parsha. Right. Upon him, I'm just saying, it, uh, according to the Alter Rebbe, you're right. Just like when you come to Chutz Laaretz, you should keep two days. When you go to Eretz Yisrael, you should keep one day. Yeah, exactly. Now, the Shaila is Benigayat to Lassad Lavai. What's the Shaila Lassad Lavai? According to this Hezbo of the Alter Rebbe, Loss of Love, there shouldn't be Bechalal any, any, uh, any Yont of Shainish Agalis. Why? Because it says in Medrish, and the Gemara also implies this idea, and we've had many Shiyurim on the subject once upon a time, that I see the Eretz Yisrael, Shatis Pashat Bechalal Arotza, is the revelation, and the Alukus of Eretz Yisrael will be extended into the entire world. So every place in the world will be a Kali for the same Gili Alukus that Eretz Yisrael has. <laughs> yeah, so if that's the case, how are, are, are we going to, how is there a swat according to Chesidus at least, according to this Hezra, that there should be Yom Tevshen Yishol Goliath? That's the Shaila. Okay, so the simple answer is, L'chayre, that the same Gemara that says that Asid Eretz Yisrael Shet Espashat B'chol Aratzais also says that Yerushalayim will be Mespashat into the whole Eretz Yisrael. Which means then that there still is a distinction between the Kedusha of Eretz Yisrael and Chutz Laaretz. There still will be a distinction. B'chalal, everything will be elevated one level. Beis HaMikdosh, the, the Kedusha of Beis HaMikdosh will be mispashit in the whole Yerushalayim. Yerushalayim in the whole Eretz Yisrael. And Eretz Yisrael into the entire world. And again, when I said the Shiurim about this subject, we spoke about this. This is not Stama Ruchnis de Ge'inyan. 
it means kapshutim mamish when you get to the halachas that apply to Eretz Yisrael, the halachas that apply to Yerushalayim, where they're going to get to eating kachim, when you get to maizris, when you get to it's real. It's a real din of espashtos of that that it will be extended. So if that's the case, then yeshloimar that the yomim tovim la'asad love everything will be nisala la'asad love everything will be on a higher level la'asad love it'll be great the yom choil la'asad love will be on a higher level omim elu shabbos will be on a higher level yontiv will be on a higher level everything will be on a higher level omim elu just like the Alter Rebbe says in Lukot Teteiru b'negei Tzman Azeh that Chutzlar is not a keli for the gili oir and Eretz Yisrael is a keli for the gili oir la'asad love yontiv will be on a higher level. Chutzlaretz will also be on a higher level, but Eretz Yisrael will be even higher. Eretz Yisrael will be like Yerushalayim. So still, Eretz Yisrael will have an advantage being on the level of Yerushalayim that it will be able to contain that Gilui in one day and Chutzlaretz will still maybe have to have two days if you go according to that opinion. Just because once it gets elevated to the level, it might be elevated enough that it gets... There's still a distinction in other places. Right. This area... As I said, Yeshleima, possibly. Possible swara to go. I say, you see that even in the Paiskim, even in Alpinigla, there's a Shaila here whether Los Adlavid will be Yonta Shani. The Rebbe himself one time said like this and one time said like that. So Alpichsidis also, there's a few Swaras over here. Well, do you say that because the whole world will be like Eretz Yisrael, so the whole world will be a Kaili for the Gili in one day? Or maybe no, maybe Los Adlavid, uh, the whole world will be elevated, but still, it won't be like Eretz Yisrael itself.